Mac Pro A1289 logic board replacement. The tools we're going to need are your standard toolkit and a short handle. Phillips head and a 2.5 millimeter hex is all we're going to need for the bits. Go ahead and begin by flipping down the Mac. If you find this video useful as a follow along guide, hit like and subscribe. Hitting like will really help boost the video's discovery and help our channel grow so we can bring you more wonderful content. Just like the original Mac Pro Cheese Creator, we have a handle right here that we can release and that will unlock the side panel that you can then lift up, lift up and move over to the side. This model has two latches that you can push out like this and pull out the tray that holds the CPU uh, and the memory. Uh, some models have two CPUs, so you'll see two heat sinks. Next, let's go ahead and pull out the uh, hard drive trays. They just come right out when you pull them out off the rails. Remove the two screws that are securing uh, the uh, fan. These are two Phillips head screws. With those removed, you can gently pull up on the fan and then remove it just like so. You can see it connects to the logic board right there. Go ahead and pull out uh, with force the um, uh, DVD or the optical drive bay. Just comes right out. And go ahead and unplug the SATA cable from the back. Put that over to the side. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing this bracket. Behind this bracket, there is the power supply connection to the logic board. We need that disconnected uh, before we proceed. So go ahead and move this little tray here. Now you can see that connection right there. Just pinch it with both your fingers on both sides and then kind of work it out of its socket. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and remove this uh, uh, enclosure for the uh, CPU and memory bay. It's attached with the six Phillips head screws to the logic board and then uh, when we remove those, we'll fast forward here, uh, we have the uh, 2.5 uh, millimeter hex that removes uh, with a short screwdriver that removes the five stubs right there this part is a little tricky we need to pull these fans uh this from the bottom and from the top you need to kind of unclip them and pull them inwards um and on both sides uh like you see here now they are actually pushed so far in that they're blocking this case from coming out so we need to pull pull them out a little bit, probably about half an inch, maybe even a quarter of an inch. Once they're pulled in, go ahead and disconnect these three connections. Um, gently disconnect that. You don't want to break those connectors. And now you can pull this case up. If we didn't push the fans in, we wouldn't be able to pull this out. You see, here's how it looks. Next, remove the two knobs. Uh, you can do this with your fingers that are guarding the uh, graphics card. And you see the graphics card has this little latch on the bottom. Uh, go ahead and push it to the, all the way to the left. And that will unlock the graphics card and you can just pull it right out. Now let's disconnect uh, this here uh, bridge cable uh, by pinching it on both sides and working it out. Go ahead and uh, untangle and disconnect the uh, Bluetooth antenna that's kind of uh, uh, clipped into the logic board and that goes for the antennas here as well. Now go ahead and disconnect the SATA cables, uh, the power cable, um, and all of the cables in the corner here. There are uh, four different connections. Uh, go ahead and remove the following 10 Phillips head screws that are securing the logic board. Once we remove those, we should be able to lift the board right up. And there's one, that last one right there. So one in the top left, in the middle, top right, uh, middle right, bottom right. Uh, the two Phillips head screws by the uh, main connector, the one on the left side, and then this one in the center. And that's it. You can go ahead and start lifting the board up, and it should come out uh, by pulling it down a little bit and then pushing it up. 
just gently work it out. You don't want to pull too fast. You don't want to damage anything. Here it is. Here's how it looks like. Logic board reinstallation A1289. Go ahead and begin by moving all the cables out of the way and carefully inserting the board. Take your time and make sure that none of the cables are jammed up, especially the Bluetooth uh, antennas. Go ahead and secure the uh, eight, uh, sorry, the ten Phillips head screws um, going around the uh, contours. Um, make sure not to insert any of the screws into any of the uh, wells that have a white square around it, except for the top left. Once those ten screws are uh, there, go ahead and reconnect the Bluetooth cable, clip it in, clip in the antennas, clip in the uh, SATA cable and all the power cables, and then that bridge cable right there. Now we can put back the uh, casing for the uh, CPU and the memory. Go ahead and slide it in. Uh, once you slide it in and it's positioned and it feels like firm and right, go ahead and reconnect the three cables that you see uh, here that are part of that uh, case assembly and then go ahead and push in the fans once you push in each fan back into its uh, orientation uh, it will be locked in and you won't be able to pull this out until you remove them go ahead and uh, put back the uh, six Phillips head screws and then the uh, five 2.5 millimeter hex studs now clip back the fan make sure that the uh, graphics card uh, is all the way to the right the uh, the graphics card uh, clip and that you could do this now go ahead and place back two Phillips head screws uh, reclip the power cable make sure that's firmly into the logic board sometimes that pops out so make sure that that's nice and firm in there uh, put back that bracket and secure it with the two Phillips head screws now grab the optical bay, plug the SATA cable in to the optical bay, uh, optical drive, and then just slide that in. It's on rails again. Um, once that's in, go ahead and put back the hard drive brackets. Those slide right in. Now go ahead and put back the graphics card. Align it. Make sure it's unlocked. Push it in and then lock it into the slot. Now put back the bracket and screw in the two Phillips head screws with your fingers. Now the uh, CPU and memory tray. You could just slide that right in. And then uh, clip in those two clips. Now we can go ahead and put back the uh, panel that secures the Mac Pro. I'll apply some pressure, close the clip, stand the unit up, and we're done.